high screening process here to protect this beautiful country from all things narcotic. Uh, I don't know how these drugs are getting through, whether people are still, you know, putting them up the bum bums or what, but I can tell you one thing, they're, they're certainly not getting through us. Okay, come forward, Sue. Thank you, that's enough. How are we doing today, Sue? Yes. No. What? Oh, you got a little something in your moustache there, Sue. It's not drugs. Okie doke. I'm just going to have a little look through your case, Sue, okay? No. Yes, what? Okay. Okay. There does seem to be quite a bit of drugs in here, Sue. No, there's not. There's not. So what are these then? Not sure. You're not sure, okay. Is this your bag, Sue? I'm not sure. You're not sure, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these in our state-of-the-art drug detection machine and we'll uh, go from there. 20 seconds should do it. Can I have my uniform back, please, Sue? Okay, so the reading has come up quite high for cocaine, Sue. It's not cocaine. It's not cocaine? No. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, I thought it was loads and loads of cocaine, Sue. Can you imagine the paperwork? The machine must be on the blip. Anyway, you're free to go. Thank you very much, Sue. Off to the right there. Okay, he's mixed their place. You know, it's been said to me, oh, Jenny, a machine could do your job for you, you know. But as we've seen today, machines are fallible. You know, it takes real human interaction to look into someone's eyes and decipher whether they're, you know, trustworthy or not. We, like with that gentleman there, he was... He was... Oh, uh, God, yeah, he's, sni he's sniffing some drugs there. Right. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Still, you know, he could have just bought those there now, so I guess we'll never know whether we could have stopped him or not. Yeah. It's annoying, though. I, I hate it when that happens. Who's next there, please? 